Hi there, this is Andrew, and this is my final speech for public speaking. So topic number one is favorite memory. The memory that comes to mind when asked this question is definitely the time when my sister and I went to Europe together. So this happened in the summer of 2018, and we were blessed with the opportunity to be able to go to Europe uh, particularly in Italy and Greece. And that trip was life-changing for me because these places were only ones that I've read in books or seen in movies or television. And growing up, I never really thought that I would be able to go to these places and seeing the monuments and the tourist attractions in real time for the first time like seeing the sunset over the Colosseum or the grand, the grandness and the majesty of the Trevi Fountain or the inside of the Vatican Museum where it hosts so much of the mythology and the historical figures and artifacts. It just put things into perspective and it made me realize that there's a lot of beauty out in the world that needs to be explored and needs to be appreciated. And I'm grateful that we were able to go on that trip because it truly was life-changing for me. And the next topic is something that you'd like to do in your lifetime. So based on my intro video, I'm currently a medical laboratory technician, which means that I work in the lab and I have an associate's degree. The one thing that I would like to accomplish in this lifetime is something that I'm actually actively pursuing at the moment. I would like to obtain a bachelor's in medical laboratory science, and after a few years, hopefully specialize in microbiology. For those of you who don't know, we usually, as healthcare professionals in the lab, work behind the scenes, and we don't really get to interact with a lot of patients. But the work that we do is very important because the results that we put out for each lab test that's ordered is the one that the doctors and the nurses go by to determine how the treatment of a certain patient will go. So it's important for us to release timely and accurate results. And this is something that I'm passionate about. And I believe that once I further myself in this field, I know that I'll be able to help more lives and I'll be able to prove to myself that this is the right career path and that I'm meant to pursue this for as long as I am able. Then the next topic is a pet peeve and why does it affect you so much? The pet peeve that affects me greatly is probably rudeness in any form. I think it's completely unnecessary. I can understand if a certain person gets frustrated because they aren't getting things that they want at a certain time or if they're not something that they're expecting, but there's always a time and a place and a way for things to be handled. I believe that things can be settled through conversation, through calm demeanors, and there's, it's complete, I, I think it's completely unnecessary to demean somebody based on the fact that you're not getting what you want, or if you raise your voice because the person that you're talking to is not in the same wavelength as you and it's just I don't think it's necessary as human beings we deserve to respect each other and I believe that life should be treated as as the most important thing and we should always value kindness and I believe the only way that we can navigate through life is by helping each other through kindness and grace and patience and if we don't if we don't get what we want from a certain time period then we should be patient and we should communicate effectively to other people so that we can be on the same wavelength and that there's a compromise that can be achieved through this manner and the biggest epiphany that i've realized in the past few years or so is that i'm actually a strong individual Oftentimes, I've always been very anxious and very shy because of my introverted nature. And 
I never really saw myself that much of as a leader or I always doubt my abilities whenever I'm at work or if a certain opportunity comes up. And now that I'm getting older or to the point where I'm appreciating what life has given me so far, I believe that I am capable of a lot more than what I give myself credit for. And a proof of that is actually going into this field because I was pursuing nursing for a long time, probably seven years of my life. And it took me that long to realize that this just was not the right path for me. And ever since I switched into the lab field, I was able to do better in school. I was able to meet so many more wonderful people and appreciate the work that goes behind the scenes. And and it's okay. It's okay if things don't work out at a certain phase in your life. It's okay to figure things out. It's okay to say that this isn't working out. I'm going to try a different path because as human beings, we are we are we should be experimenting and we should figure out what's best for us. So the biggest epiphany is that I'm a lot stronger and I can do a lot more given the hard work and dedication and kindness and perseverance that I give to things. So, all right.